न्यूज फ्रॉम अराउंड द ग्लोब हार्ट फ्रेश बैलेंस एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव Hello and welcome to News Hour on Unity TV. Today is Friday, 23rd of June, 2023, and it's equivalent to 5th of Zulu Hijra, 1444, after Hijra. Nigeria ready for business. Tinubu rules Afri Zim Bank investors in Paris. Many feared killed as gunmen invade Kogi community. Eight DSS calls for vigilance over plot to attack worship centers during. And on the foreign scene, all five aboard Titanic sub presumed. Dead after evidence of a ca of catastrophic implosion, and in sport, Harvard's to have Arsenal medical this weekend. And those were the headlines. And for details and more of the stories, I am Rukayet Sani Ibrahim. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Thursday in Paris, France, and the president and told the president and chairman of the board of directors of African Export Import Bank, Africzim. Professor Benedict Orama and President of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, EBRD, Odile Renaud Borso, that Nigeria is ready for global business and prepared to welcome investments. The President stated these when he received Professor Orama and Renaud Borso in separate meetings on the sideline of the Summit for New Global Financing Pact. He said ongoing reforms, starting with removal of first subsidy and streamlining of exchange rate, will be sustained for a more competitive economy that attracts foreign direct investment, urging investors to take advantage of opportunities in Nigeria. A statement issued by Dele Alake, special advisor to the president on special duties, communication and strategy, said President Tenbu assured the delegation of Africa Zimbang executives led by Dr. Orama that the federal government will continue to stimulate the economy with policies that support investments in areas of Nigeria's competitive advantage, particularly agriculture. The Federal Accounts Allocation Committee, FAAC, has shared a total sum of 786.161 billion naira to the federal, state and local governments. It represented their share from the May 2023 Federation account revenue, according to the communique issued at the end of the FAAC meeting in Abuja yesterday. The meeting was chaired by the new Accountant General of the Federation, Dr. Olua Toin Madien, according to the Director, Press and Public Relations, Mr. Bawa Mokwa. The communique indicated that the from the total distributable revenue of 786.161 billion naira, the federal government received 301.889 billion naira. The state government received 265.875 billion naira, and the local government councils received 195.541 billion naira. A total of 22. 855 billion naira was shared to the oil producing states as 13% derivation revenue. The 786.161 billion naira total distributable revenue comprised distributable statutory revenue of 519.545 billion naira, distributable value added tax VAT revenue of 251.607 billion naira. Electronic money transfer levy of 14.370 billion naira and exchange difference revenue of 0 0.639 billion naira. Nigeria's total public debt may hit 81.64 trillion naira this year, according to findings. The figure was arrived at based on the 2022 Debt Sustainability Analysis Report by Debt Management Office. As of December 2022, Nigeria's total public debt was 46.25 trillion naira, which means there might be an increase of 76.52% this year. In the report, the DMO warned that the federal government's projected revenue of 10 trillion naira for 2023 cannot support fresh borrowings. According to the office, the projected government's debt service to revenue ratio of 73.5% for 2023 is high and a threat to debt sustainability. It noted that the government's current revenue profile cannot support higher levels of borrowing. The federal government will be unable to borrow a lot as it nears its self-imposed debt limit of 40%, the Debt Management Office has said. 
Some gunmen have reportedly invaded Ijule town in Ofu local government area of Kogi state, killing residents in the process. It was learned that the attack started around 3 a.m. on Thursday. A commercial motorcyclist, popularly known as Okada Rider, and the wife of a youth leader in the community were reportedly killed in the attack. The Okada Rider was said to have been hit by a stray bullet, while the woman was said to be looking for her husband when she was hit and died on the spot. Also, a family house in the town was reported to have been set ablaze by the hoodlums. Commander Jerry Omadara retired. The security advisor to the Kogi State Governor Alhaji Yahya Bello confirmed the incident but said he had yet to get the details. The police public relations officer PPRO in the state, SP William Ayer, did not pick up his calls when contacted. The Department of State Services DSS has called for vigilance ahead of the Idil Kabil celebrations, saying that reports indicated plans to attack worship and recreational centers before and during the festivities. This was contained in a statement by the spokesperson for the secret police, Peter Afunanya, which was made available to newsmen on Thursday. The DSS also advised operators and patrons of public places, including markets and malls, to be watchful and report any suspicious movement and persons to the relevant security agencies. The service said it will continue to partner with sister agencies for necessary proactive drills to frustrate criminals and their activities. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it will hold a post-elections review for the just-concluded 2023 polls from July 4 to August 5, 2023. According to the Electoral Empire, the review will focus on all aspects of the electoral activities before, during and after the elections. In a statement on Thursday by the Commission spokesman Festus Okoye, the Electoral Empire said the review will commence with a meeting of the resident Electoral Commissioner's Rex and end with the Commissioner's Retreat. The Commission has been holding these review meetings after every general elections since 2011. Nigerians have lost about 12.5 billion naira to financial crimes linked to the telecommunications industry in the past four years, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has said. The Commission's Director of Consumer Affairs, Dr. al Qasim Umar, made this known on Thursday during the 22nd quarter of the 2023 Open Forum of the Industry Consumer Advisory Forum organized by NCC in Lagos. The NCC Consumer Affairs Board said e-fraud poses a significant threat to Nigeria as it undermines the trust and confidence in the country's digital platforms, hampers economic growth and adversely impacts the life of its citizens. In his keynote address, the executive vice chairman of NCC, Professor Umar Garba Dambata, said e fraud encompasses a wide range of malicious activities carried out via electronic means, including identity theft, phishing, hacking, and unauthorized access to personal and financial information with the intention to defraud or take advantage of victims. To tackle e-fraud and data breaches in the industry, the NCC board said the Commission is in the process of developing more elaborate data protection regulations to ensure the protection and privacy of data in the Nigerian communications sector. Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Power, Mr. Temitope Fashidemi, says the federal government is making efforts to further improve, stabilize and sustain power supply. Ms. Chingwe Udwem, spokesperson of the ministry, stated this in Abuja on Thursday that Fashe Demi made a declaration when the special advisor to the president, Bola Tinubu and Energy, Ms. Olu Vajen, visited the ministry. In her remarks, Vajen said the power sector was critical to growth and productivity of nations. She noted that reforms embarked upon in the power sector over the years will bring about the much desired positive impact. Earlier, technical directors and heads of agencies under the ministry took turns to speak on challenges and the way forward to make the power sector an enviable one. And on the foreign scene, all five people aboard the Titan submersible are believed to be dead and debris discovered in the search area was consistent with a catastrophic implosion. The U.S. Coast Guard said the debris was found off the bow of the sunken Titanic, officials said. The search for the Titan, which went missing Sunday after it embarked on a mission to survey the wreckage of the Titanic, have been focused on an area where Canadian aircraft detected underwater noises Tuesday and again yesterday. 
Those on board have been identified as Token Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions. The company behind the mission, British billionaire Hamish Harding, the owner of Action Aviation, French dive expert Paul Henry, Nagulet, and prominent Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman. And in sport, Chelsea forward Kai Havertz will have a medical this weekend ahead of completing his move to Arsenal. While talks continue over Declan Rice, Havertz medical is likely to take place overseas due to the player's schedule. And all being well, a formal announcement of his £65 million move could come next week. Chelsea are understood to be satisfied with the deal as Havertz have made it clear he wants to leave Stamford Bridge. Arsenal also remain in talks with West Ham over signing of Rice. This is an expectation they will make a third offer after having a club record bid worth £90 million rejected. However, Sky in Italy reported on Thursday Manchester City are closing on a deal for the West Ham captain. They are prepared to pay £75 million plus £15 million in bonuses payable across two years for Rice. Thomas Partey could also be on the move with Juventus interested, although they have been no formal bid yet. As now want a degree of certainty about arrivals before sanctioning any departures. And with the sport news, we've come to the end of our bulletin for today. You can follow us on our social media handles at Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Unity Radio FM TV respectively. You can also watch us live on the satellite decoder Better Sat, which is being watched in about 38 countries of the world free. You can also watch and stream us live on our YouTube channel at Unity FM TV. I am Rogayet Sani Ibrahim. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of our programs. I was the head boy in my primary school, senior prefect and best graduating student in my secondary school, but drug abuse almost ruined my life. I was on an average of two grams of cocaine per day. I was taking eight amples of pentazosine daily. European shisha, cocaine. I became a user, a dealer and a gangster. I saw other users drowning. I knew I didn't want to be like them, but I was already trapped. My family disowned me. My employment was terminated. I sold my car, sold my house. I'll go out well-dressed and return shoeless, shirtless in exchange for drugs. I was seeing things that were not real and I won't stab myself because I felt something crawling under my skin. I contacted NDLE and started therapy. I spent three months in therapy. I spent eight months. It's easy to relapse, but your mind has to be stronger than the craving. Drugs are does not love you. You are not the one using drugs. Drugs are the one using you. Say no to drug abuse. Please pay attention. It starts from the foundation. Everybody needs somebody. You turn a blind eye and care nothing less. Say it's just business, all about the money mm -mm. You are so unbothered, as long as they pay Say it's just business, all about the money mm -mm. You know they're on a fast lane, but you've got business to run So you look away, you look away, the other way Lentashir Unity TV, Assalamu alaikum, Borkum, Modekas and Chatter, Doku Adidon, Logati, the Miki Kamukula Baran, Dunia, the Prokogami Human Canon. So at Kilabaran Namza Kucha, Kumakula, that Chu Bashi, Tagrega, you come to Nigeria, the Toguji, Chemoni, Bashi, Nangaba, 
a gefe guda kuwa an cafke wani mai safarar miyagun makamai kan titin Abuja zuwa jihar Nasarawa har ila yau za ku ci a labaran ketare kuwa yan Republican sun kada kuri a tsige shugaba Biden na kasa Amerika inda da karshe za mu kamu ku labaran wasanni za ku ci a Saudi na har to kanin labaran na muke ne yanzu kuma ga cikin kun so tare da ni Hadiza Ahmad Hassan hukumar DMO mai kula da bashi a Nigeria ta gargadi gwamnatin tarayya game da karin karbo aran kudi a irin halin da ake ciki a yanzu hukumar ba ta goyen bayan cin bashi ne ganin cewa kashi 73 da dugobiyar na kudin shigan da za a samu a bana duk zai tafi ne a wajen biyan bashin da aka karbo kamar yadda DMO ta bayyana kasan kudin shigan da suke tafiya wajen biyan tsofaffin bashi yayi yawa ba da dace a saki karbo a ran kudi ba hukumar ta yi kira ga gwamnatin tarayya ta nemi hanyoyin da za ta bi wajen ganin ta ƙara samun kudin shiga a cikin lalitar kasar tana mai cewa hakan ne zai ba ta damar ta iya cin bashi hankali kwance an yi hasashen samun kudin shiga na naira trilliyan 10.49 wanda kuma DMO ta ce sai gwamnati ta samu abin da yake naira trilliyan 10.55 sannan a iya karo bashi nan gaba to hukumar tsaro ta DSS ta ankarar da al'umma cewa akwai shirye-shirye da wasu muyagu ke yi kaiwa wuraren bauta da filayen wasanni hari wani rahoto da jarida Punch ta fitar ya bayyana cewa ana yin kurin kai harharan ne a lokuta da kuma kafin bukukkuwan babbar salla mai magana da yahun wato mai magana da yahun bakin DSS a Nigeria Dr. Peter Afunanya yayi kira ga masu manyan shaguna su kara sa ido a daidai lokacin nan da aka shiga Pita Apunanya ya ce jami'an tsaro masu fararen kaya da dakarin yan sanda da sojoji sun yi nasarar gano wasu makamai IED masu tashi yana mai cewa ba ma baman da ake shirin tadawa sun yi nuni da cewa akwai barazana a gaba Afunanya ya shawarci jama'a su yi gaggawa sanar da jami'an tsaro da zarar sun cikaro da wasu mutanen da basu sani ba to kungiyar kwadago ta Nigeria NLC ta yi kira ga gwamnatin tarayya ta jingine shirinta na yin karin kudin wutar lantarki da kashi 40 cikin 100 cikin wata mai zuwa cikin wata sanarwa da shugaban kungiyar Joy Ejiro ya fitar ya ce matakin zai kara wa yan kasar musamman talakawa wa halhalu da matsin da suke ciki idan za a iya tuna da hukumar kula da harkokin wutar lantarki ta NERC ta sanar da shirin kara kudin wutar lantarki daga ranar 1 ga watan yuli mai zuwa to hada kar jami'an tsaron Najeriya da suka hada da na farin kaya sojoji da yan sanda sun sami nasarar cafke wani kasurgumin mai safarar miyagun makamai a yayin wani sintirin hadin gwiwa a jihohin Kogi da Nasarawa musamman akan babban hanyar Abuja zuwa Kefi wata sanarwa da kakakin hukumar DSS na kasa Peter Afunan yan yi fitar na cewa jami'an tsaron sun cafke Abubakar Muhammad da ake kira da Abubakar Direba da makamai da harsa sai manya har guda 486 haka zalika sanarwar ta ce an kama shi da abubuwan fashewa guda 24 da kuma kudade a cikin wata mota kirar golf bugu da kari cikin aikin da hadin gwiwar jami'an tsaron suka kai kuma wani samami a maboyar jagoran yan ta'addan nan na jihar Kogi mai suna Kabir Bala da ake yi wa laƙabi da Oko dan ta'addan da sauran mutanen sa sun bude wa jami'an tsaro wuta inda nan take su ma suka mai da martani har daga ƙarshe suka bindige shi an sami babbar bindiga kira AK47 da wasu bindigogi na gargajiya guda shida wayoyin salula da layu da wasu abubuwa to gwamna Ahmed Aliyu na jihar Sokoto ya bayar da umarni a yi gaggawar biyan ka fatanin maigatan jihar kudaden su na albashin watan yuni da muke ciki haka nan gwamnan ya kuma bada umarni a hada da daukacin yan fanshoshin jihar cikin wadanda za a biya kudaden gwamnan ya bayyana hakan ne a cikin wata sanarwa da sakataren watsa labaran sa Abubakar ya fita a ranar Alhamis 
Gwamna ya ce gwamnatin sa tai hakan ne da mun baiwa ma'aikata da ƴan fanshon jihar Dama gudanar da shagulgular bukukuwan salla mai zuwa cikin walwala da jin dadi. Gwamna Aliyu ya kuma tabbatar wa ma'aikatan jihar ta Sokoto aniyar gwamnatin sa na garin ta farfado da martabar ma'aikata ta hanyar tabbatar da jin dadi da walwalar su a kowane lokaci. Commissioner Labarena Zamanin Mulkin Ganduje Muhammad Garba ya ce tsohon gwamnatin jihar Takano Abdullahi Umar Ganduje ya ce bai damu da matakin da hukumar karbar korafe korafe da yake da rashuwa ta jihar ta dauka na cigaba da binciken bidiyon da ake zargin sa na nuna shi ya karba cin hanci ba shugaban hukumar muhiyi magajiri mun gado wanda ganduje ya dakatar da shi kuma gwamna mai ci abbakabir yusuf ya mai yadda shi bisa umarnin koti ne yace zai ci gaba da binciken sai dai commissioner labarai na zamanin mulkin ganduje muhammad garba ya ce ko kusa binciken bai tayar musu da hankali ba ya ce ganduje ya tabbatar mishi da cewa abin bai dame shi ba saboda haka wannan lamari ne na shari'a so hon commissioner ya ce idan an gayyaci tsohon gwamnatin domin neman ba hassi zai shawara da lauyoyi kan matakin da ya kamata ya dauka to a labaran ketare kuwa ƴan majalisar jam'iyyar republican a majalisar wakilan amurka sun ka da kuri'a amincewa da fara yin kurin tsige shugaban kasa Joe Biden a wani yanayi da zai zafa siyasar kasar kafin zabe mai zuwa ya majalisun wadanda suke da rinjaye a majalisar wakilai na zargin shugaba Biden da amfani da karfin mulki ta hanyar bada wato ta hanyar da bata kamata ba da saba ka'idar aiki inda suka gabatar wa committee shari'a da na tsaron cikin gida a annuar su ƴan majalisar Republican na zargin shugaban kasar da kin kare iyakokin kasar gabaki ƴan cirani abin da ya ba su dama kwarara zuwa cikin Amurka da kuma baiwa ƴan kasashen waje da masu aikata laifi damar iko da iyakar kasar da Mexico ƴan jam'iyyar Democrat sun bayyana shirin a matsayin yunkurin kawar da hankalin jama'a daga shari'a da ake yi wa tsohon shugaban kasa Donald Trump wanda ke fuskantar tuhume-tuhume sama da sabayin suka hada da halartar kudaden haramun da gazawa wajen koya asirin gwamnati da kuma kin mutunta shari'a to alabarin wasanni kuwa a fagen hada hadar ƴan wasanni dan wasan gaba na Liverpool Muhammad Salah shine tauraro na gaba da gasar Saudi ke harin janyewa bayan zuwan karin Benzema da Golo Kanti ita kuwa AC Milan na fatan yin galaba akan manyan abokan hamayyar su Inter Milan wajen sayin Romelu Lukaku duk da cewa dan wasan na Belgium yayi kakar da ta gabata ne a Inter a matsayin aro Kochin Arsenal Mikel Ateta na ganin Declan Rice zai iya kasancewa captain din kungiyar a nan gaba kuma Gonas din na shirin gabatar da tayi na uku akan dan wasan na Ingla wanda kudin zai kusa da farashin da West Ham take bukata Rice ya fi sanya je Arsenal duk da cewa Manchester City na shirin shiga cikin ita ma kuma za ta iya biyan fam miliyan 100 da West Ham ta saka a kansa to duka duka da wannan rahoto na wasanni muka ka karshen labaran namu na yau amma kafin mu sallama da kuka da kuma ta za ku iya ci gaba da bibiyar kaitattun shirye-shiryen mu da kafafan sada zuwa mun da suka hada da Facebook, Instagram, YouTube da sauran su duka at Unity FM TV to amma idan kowa da kowa musamman Bashir Musa da ya tace labaran sai ni Hadiza Ahmad Hassan da karanto nake cewa ku ci gaba da kasancewa da tashar hadin kan al'umma Unity TV murya cikin nazari bis salam Please pay attention it starts from the foundation everybody needs somebody you turn a blind eye and care nothing less say it's just business all about the money mm -mm. As long as the pay say it's just business all about the money mm -mm. you know they're on a the fast lane but you've got business to run so you look away you look away the other way so
reality.